Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me and today I'll be going over how to install Quake 3 Arena for Xbox Dev Mode. The myth, the legend, Whirly DL has done it again. This time he has ported IO Quake 3 to UWP. And what this essentially is, is a port that will allow you to play Quake 3 Arena. So let's get right into it. All right, so for this tutorial, you'll actually need four things. First, you need to do this on a Series S or X, and it needs to have dev mode activated. If you do not have dev mode set up, you can check out the description for my playlist down below. This will have all my videos for dev mode related content, such as the tutorial and setup and other videos as well. Two, you will need to have an external drive for this. This does not work internally, so you will need that. And if this is your first time setting up an external, you will need to format it and allow special permissions properly. So I highly recommend checking out that playlist down below so you can find that video as well. Three, you will actually need to own Quake 3 Arena yourself so that you could take the required game files needed for this app to work. And then number four, you need this IO Q3A 1.0 MSIX bundle. You can find this file within the Xbox Dev Store. This would be linked down below in the description. And all you would have to do is go into the Games tab, scroll all the way down. And just like that, there's Quake 3 Arena. Just click on Download download from here, or you could get it straight from Whirly's GitHub. I'm just gonna click download from here. And just like that, it just downloaded. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna name it Q3A, and then find your copy of Quake 3 Arena. And all you simply gotta do is take this base Q3 folder and drag it right into the Q3A folder that we just created. And then once you have done that, all we got to do is simply drag and drop this into the root of our external drive, like such. And then once you do that, you're ready to go for your external. And then now what we're going to do is show you how to install the IO Q3A MSIX bundle into the dev portal. If you do not know how to get into the dev portal, I will show an example here now. And then for those who do know how to get into it, you could skip this part. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right, now that we're on the computer, what we're going to do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. All right, bet. So once you get into the Xbox device portal, all you got to do is underneath my games and apps, click on add. Look for that MSIX bundle file that we downloaded earlier. Simply drag and drop it, click on next. There is no necessary dependencies for this, so just click on start. Once it says package successfully registered, you could click done. And then now we can leave this page. Make sure to safely eject your external drive, plug it into your Xbox, and then we're going to head over to the Xbox and finish up the setup. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you get into dev mode is hover over the IOQ3 UWP. Press the select button on it, go to view details, and make sure to change it from an app to a game. If it's already set to a game by default, then simply don't do anything. Make sure your external drive is plugged in, and then what we're going to do is simply open up the app. Alright, so when you first open up the app, you'll be greeted with a CD key screen. All you simply got to do is press the start button on the controller. And then just like that, we're at the main menu for Quake 3 Arena. A little tip is if you use the left stick to navigate with the crosshairs, you press A to select. And then if you're using the D-pad 
to select, you would have to press X. All right, so there's already pre-configured controls, but they're a little weird at the moment. So what I highly recommend is pressing B and then go down to the setup, go to player. And if you wanted to change your name, all you had to do is press the left and right thumbsticks at the same time. This will open up the keyboard. And then we're going to change our name. Press enter, handicap none. You could press B to exit the keyboard. And then if you want, you could change your model as well. I'm just gonna go back, press back again. Now what we're gonna do is head over to the controls. The controls are a little weird at the moment because the movement is all within the D-pad. Please do not change that joystick from on to off. If you do, your controls will completely be gone. And the only way to fix it is to re-add all your game files within the folder. So I highly recommend making sure not to change that. All that I'm going to change is I'm going to go down to shoot. And then I'm going to change my attack to the right trigger. By default, it is the A button. So all you got to do is once you hover over this, press the select button so you could clear it. If you're using the D-pad, press X to select it. You could tell when everything gets grayed out and then just press your desired key. For me, I'm doing the right trigger. And then I'm also going to change the next weapon, probably the right bumper. So I'm going to press select on it. Press X and then press the right bumper. And then that's all I'm going to do. So now I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to load into a single player match to show you that this is working. I'm just going to select the first level, click on fight, click it again. And just like that, we're loaded into the game. And that's pretty much about it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please make sure to give it a like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more dev mode related content. Have a great one.